Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever in the world you might be watching. Many of my videos relate to VLOOKUP and how you can learn to use that particular formula. This video will show you a little trick that uh, you can use to increase the efficiency of your VLOOKUP formulas. Now here we have a formula in VLOOKUP which is showing an error message because we're trying to look up somebody called Bob but there is no Bob here in the data and we're looking in the range D8 to F11 as per the formula here up here in the formula bar so let's add Bob and see what happens Bob we'll say Bob is 22 and his phone number is 5678 now we still get an error message here because the formula here in cell E5 is still looking in the range D8 to F11. If I change that of course to F12 manually and press enter then I'll see Bob's phone number here because I was looking in the third column up here in the formula because I wanted to see the phone number. Now that's all well and good Let's delete that last action. We'll get rid of Bob. And we're still looking in the formula here, D8 to F11. But there is a better way. And it's shown over here. We'll tick each of the steps as we do them. So it says, first of all, convert the data to a table. So what I'm going to do is to click in the data and say, insert table where is the data there it is there does the table have headers yes by default that will be ticked and we'll click OK no problem there we can put a tick in there now in our VLOOKUP formula I'm going to retype that in full rather than just edit it so you can follow it more closely equals VLOOKUP and we'll still be looking in cell E4 but this time in the range there and you'll notice that it is now given a table number your table number may be a little different on your own computer mine is showing table 3 because I used table 1 and 2 when I was testing this particular video but it names that table. Now we again want to look in table 3 and false because the data is not in ascending order and Bob is showing an error result again but here's the trick. Let's remove Bob <coughs> and this time we've typed our VLOOKUP formula there it says click the bottom right cell in the table and press tab so let's click there and press tab now we can enter Bob he was 22 years of age and his phone number was 5678 now and press enter now let's see what happens when I type Bob and there we see his phone number why because when I insert a table or make data a table it means that the table itself is used as the data matrix in which VLOOKUP will look for the answer that we need and we saw that VLOOKUP automatically adjusts the formula so there is a little trick if you like that will save you a lot of time it's certainly handy I use it all the time when I'm uh, doing consulting work for clients who need VLOOKUPs because it saves them after I leave having to adjust the formula if they add new data so let's look at one more just for old time's sake we'll say tab and this time it will be uh, Susie Susie is uh, 54 
and her phone number is 6789 and we'll press enter. Now I'm going to type Susie. Notice certainly that I didn't have to adjust any formulas and there is her phone number. So hope you found this handy folks. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.